Hello, Internet. I'm the inimitable narrator. Behold my collar. Also, behold these people. They're not all bad, at least not until I became their dungeon master. Adventure vicariously through the detailing of our detour through the monolith of myth. Day two, hour two. I think it'd be wise not to press the button again. I'm gonna bandage my face. <laughs> okay. For was it D three? Yeah. With Jeff and Sir's room. Uh, three. A pistol. Okay. I look around the room. So there's just books and his desk. And there's a couch. And there's a couch. I go to the couch. Okay. I look it under, looks really comfortable. I look underneath the couch. Uh, you see... Dust bunnies? Nothing. Like under the cushions. Nothing. Nothing notable. And Don't cut open the cushions. <laughs> it looks, I sit on it. It looks a bit anachronistic. I sit on it. Okay, as you sit on it, you're facing north, like at a bookshelf. Uh, you notice a lot of the books in front of you they have black spines, so it kind of makes like a box in front of you. What? I run at. No. So, so just in the big, I have a black square in front of me because the spines of the books all match? Yeah. I stand back, I, I stand back outside the middle of the room and I look at all the books. Is there any more patterns like that with any of the spines? Nothing. Nothing you can see. Okay, hey guys. What? The spines of the books, if you sit on that sofa right in front of it, all of the spines are black. So it makes a shape of all the color. Like the color. I'm going to inspect the books inside the square or rectangle. What other any titles that stick out? Uh, nothing really. I, you notice that a lot of them are sequential books. They're all like parts of volumes. Okay. Um, why, don't you walk, why don't you try walking into the square and change this? Because they're books. Try <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, taking the books down. Then. I suppose my next thing. I'm gonna try to remove one of the books. You do so, and it's just it looks like a regular book. What about the back? The back of the bookshelf. And where it's, it's just wall. It's just wall. Yeah. Start shaking your hand in it. In the book or the wall? The wall. <laughs> Open the book. I open the book and look in, inside. Uh, it. You see nothing out of the ordinary. And I remove the rest of the books out from inside of this rectangle. They all do the same thing. And there's <gasps> nothing. There's nothing they, behind the books. Nope. Just they, the all, wall. they all act as expected. As books. Well, I'm a little expecting them to fly off the bookshelves at this point. What's the title of the... Did the flying books fall in that area? No. Not. The books just kind of came from everywhere, just kind of dispersed throughout the shelves. Books. Thanks. Uh, is there nothing on the desk that he kicked? I mm know -hmm. he didn't find alcohol, but there's nothing else on it at all? Yeah, there was... I look underneath the carvings on the bottom of the table. Is there anything carved in the bottom of the table? Nope. Top of the table? Nope. Just a nice big giant wood slab. Is there a chair? Uh, there's a big stone kind of bench. I sit on it. You do so. Do I see anything like a shape in the books anywhere? No. Um, you hear that the the books that went back to the shelf you know, flutter just a little bit after you sat down. Yeah, I sat down. Yeah, they calm back down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, books. Sorry. Um, Why is, is there anything actually... on the stone bench? Nope. Is it is this seriously just like books? Of there's no doors. It's just all books. Correct. Why don't you try reading the black books? Were there anything on the what were the black books? I mean, there are things like encyclopedias and stuff like that. Uh, more knowledge than you learn of the world. <laughs> but, I want to bet there's a whole bunch of repeat titles in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there I wonder because the book seems pretty attached to the desk. So I wonder if they put the, all the Maybe if you flip the, the desk over. 
I would. <laughs> We'd go exactly right. I'd totally do it. I'm sure. I take one of the black books and I put it on the desk. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Is there anything behind the black book? Nope. It's the wall. Again. Just the wall. Okay, have you tried touching the wall? No. Try it. Does the wall feel like a wall? It does, in fact, feel like a wall. I place my hand, I put that book back so all the books are just, I place my hand against several spines. Spines? On the books. Man, I wonder why there's human spines on the wall. <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> Shut up. With the book in place, does it wall does the wall still feel like a wall? Yep. How did you put the wall? Put the book in the way. Put that book back in place. All the all the ones inside it inside this the rectangle are in gone. I took them out. Oh, the rectangle! We I just took them out. <laughs> I put all the books back in the shelf. In order, painstakingly. <laughs> okay. Okay, now I now I touch touch the back one. Who's nice. now? There's books on the way. I was touching the books. Do any of the other books along the shelves stand it's, out? It's shape it's or color? Not exceptionally. I mean it's a lot of topics that you have no knowledge of. There's a lot of topics here I have no knowledge of. <laughs> Fascinating. And no interest in at this point. <laughs> Unless it says spell book. Um, do I see any magic books? You do not. Okay. Do you see a book titled Zack Stupid? You're stupid. You went in there and kicked your desk and got killed by books. <laughs> Almost. Almost. Thank you. <laughs> I saved your life. <laughs> <laughs> you also my mouth all away. Yeah, well, you were raging drunk. So? Um. Okay, uh. So, let's light the room on fire. <laughs> let's burn it all. <laughs> Alright, Montana. <laughs> well? Why don't you try looking at all the black books? What? Why don't you try looking at all the black books? Yeah, we looked at the black books. books. You looked at a black book. Why don't you try opening the black books? They're encyclopedias. You said there were things like encyclopedias. He was giving an example of what was on the wall, not what the black books were made of. I'll go back to sell the couch. Okay. Uh, I assume you're facing the books directly in front of you. Um, after you sit there for some time, maybe 30 seconds elapse, and um, and you notice that the color of the spines start to brighten up, and they slowly turn to white. Those are white now. Do they look white to me? Yes. Oh, hey, they are white now. <laughs> um, are they emitting heat? No. Are they different books? No. I don't try reading the books. Are they still... Are they still solid? Can I touch them? Yeah. They're not emitting heat. Um, as you guys are observing it, you start to notice that the colors are flickering a little bit and they're starting to change between different shades. Pattern? Not yet. Like if we just sit there and, and do nothing, do they? does it just keep doing the same thing over and over? Yeah, I mean it's different patterns, but it does keep changing. Um, what happens if I take one, try to take one of the books out of the border? Uh, as you do that, the the spine kind of goes back to its default black, but the rest of the books are still doing their thing. Okay, well, I put it back in. And, uh, like a checkerboard pattern. <laughs> I put it back in. And is it just the black ones that are doing that? Not, I, now I take the ones out of the center again. Because I can't put them all back. Take, take the non black ones. There's black ones in a square, and then, did you say they're in a rectangle, or like they're solidly, like it's solid rectangle, or is there like solid, solid rectangle? Okay, I, I was under the impression that it was like, like the books were like, and they're like just regular colored books in here. No. When you said a rectangle, I was like, okay, it's not, it doesn't go all the way through. I was like, maybe, maybe we take those out, and there's a portal inside the black. <laughs> 
Um, what happens if we try to put? If I try to push on the on the shining books, they just run up against the wall. Um, I can do just still in the wall. Uh, patterns start getting more concise and detailed. Maybe it's a television as you do this. And you see multiple quadrants in the patterns. Um, and, sorry, I'm sorry. and you're starting to make out figures within them. You know those old things they used to put on the, on the newspapers? There is like one little Words. panel. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, there is a panel and it's, and it's like this. stare at this for 30 seconds and see if you can see the, the image. And so much of shapes where if you like stare at it or whatever, you start to see figures and stuff. Well, stare at the ceiling real quick. Is there any image burned into her retinas? <laughs> there is not. Go back to staring at it. It's getting more and more detailed as time goes on. Are we still in the most detailed sit and, time? I sit down okay. on the couch too. Okay. It's It starts to become more detailed a little bit faster now that you're sitting down on the couch. I don't want to sit on the couch. But it doesn't yeah, matter, you're not conscious in the hallway. Yeah, I know. Um, you can you can see people in the spines of the Is it us? Of the books. No. Is but it? you do see a roofer who is building a roof. <laughs> um, oh, here we go. You see some people out in the forest. You see a burly dwarf carrying an exceptionally large axe. You see a dwarf fighting a dragon? Maybe. <laughs> You're just seeing a lot of a lot of different people doing different various miscellaneous things. Alright, alright. Please, I'm intrigued. What other things do you do we see in these? Or do they see? They see three men partying on a house chanting Dream Team, Dream Team. And there's a larger than life statue of a veteran goblin Sorry, in the foyer. <laughs> This um, must be who we were. No hat. Swear. No hat for this. No. No. Guys, it's just a TV. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, were there any other entrances other than one to the library, or did it was the only option was the library? No, no there's no, several. Two there's two other hallways. There was like two other hallways. But, one was but there's got to be something in here. Nope. Just we'll TV. come back later. Okay, we go back out and go down. Dude, it just... is a sofa. This is a very comfy sofa. Uh, is, Pat, is Patrick patched back up yet? Is he conscious? Sure. Uh, Patrick, you're conscious with the subdual bit with the subdual damage. So you took like what four, six, six damage total, real damage from the books. Yeah, I took six from the books. Yeah. My subdual damage is only about six. No, I mean four or something like that. How about how about a bandage? Would you like a bandage, Patrick? Yeah. Be cool. Sorry about blasting you in the head earlier. Sorry about hitting you in the face. You get one hit point. <laughs> Is right, this so, nose broken? No, I fixed it. <laughs> He's got a giant band. <laughs> He's got a bandaid across my face. Bandaid brand bandages. <laughs> what happened to your face? Uh, you hit me. Man. Nah, bro, that wasn't me. So we're let's head let's head south through the through the door to the south of us. Okay, you go south about fifteen feet. Uh, you notice that the hallway extends Heads west. West. For a decent amount of ways. So you open the door? Mm -hmm. Okay, it opens outwards, clockwise, of course. Um, it opens up to a 20 by 20 room, and there is a very lumpy bed in front of you. I lay on the bed. Okay. Oh, you wake up. Uh, what are you doing on me? <laughs> hey, buddy, come on. It's cool. I'm just trying to get off of me. I push him off. What if we decided not to go in the door? Because we just went north and south. <laughs> what are you doing? Trying to nap, bro. Come now. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying I, to I, I crawl back I was, into the bed. Oh, I was having a nice dream waiting for my team to meet back up with me. Because I they it. said they would meet me here. Colton, you have your helmet on, but none of the rest of your armor. It's all okay. next to the Stop, baby. Okay. Uh, you sleep in the helmet? <laughs> it's comfy. For me. Huh, that's all. I tap on it and it's metal, right? 
Or is it lever? Because yes, it's, it's lever. It's, 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 it's I hit it. No, no, that doesn't look very comfortable. No, metal. On Actually, the I don't have any armor. I'm only wearing a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> What, what are you? What? I'm a dwarf. <laughs> oh, okay, a dwarf. My name is Rengar. Rengar. What are you doing? Rengar. What are you doing here? Uh, I was, I was... Take it out, I, Well, clearly, I, but we're gonna need more backstory than that. I fall asleep. Well, <laughs> I, I, He's got narcolepsy. <laughs> or not. <laughs> I just, I just sleep hugging Colton's character while he tries to introduce some stuff. <laughs> Pretty much what happened was, I woke up and pretty much me and my team, which I don't know where they went, we appeared on this like giant ledge out on the uh, that extended outwards towards the ocean, and probably the same way you guys got here. But yeah, I, I met up with uh, that one guy who was in here. I forgot his name. He's Jonathan. dead. Yes. Oh, he's dead? Yeah. One of did, my, did my team do it? Yes. Is my team still alive? No. They're also dead. Oh. <laughs> did, you, did you guys kill him? No. Kill him? No? No? No, no but... The <laughs> How did they said, die? The guy said that they never came back, so... That doesn't sound much like my team. I don't, I, I don't think I can trust you guys. Maxwell got to them. Maxwell! <laughs> Is there anything else in this room save for the bed? Uh, there are two doors. One is on the east and one is on the west side. Do you, have you gone through each of these doors? Have you seen what's on the, on the other side? No, I just came in here, saw there was a bed, and decided I should sleep. Really? Until my team finally made it to me, which they never did. That, so, that was your idea of being safe. Go in a room, find a bed, just sleep in it. I figured they would come meet back up with me eventually. How did you get separated? Pretty much, uh, Jonathan, sir, tried to uh, lead me and my team off of that cliff. That doesn't but sound very much like Jonathan, sir. He wasn't very nice. <laughs> I, I think he tried to kill me and my team, so that door that was below that cliff it was still open, so I went through it. But my team had to lower me down using a rope. And I decided I would go and wait until they could find a way out. From the roof? They lowered you from the roof? They lowered me from the roof, yes. From doorway number three. From doorway number three. <laughs> 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 what? what? So doorway number three is that straight up above the entrance. And, oh my! Oh. <laughs> That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Okay. So they lowered me down, and I came through here, and I decided I should wait. They lowered me down on the rope, and they told me to just wait there for them. How'd you get past the jumping puzzle on your own? That required at least three people. I... <laughs> Wait, it is. I used rope. Yeah. <laughs> he just he just dived into the hole across all the way across. Well, he, he tied rope to like a. I tied the rope to the bottom of it, and I swung across. <laughs> yeah, he tied rope around the first one, and uh, he had a lot of rope. <laughs> <laughs> he came with like six hundred feet of rope. He made him a thousand of rope. Feet of rope. <laughs> Rope. That is what I use as my armor, if you can't clearly see. No. And so he jumped across, and once he hit the button, he could just, like, slide down, like, into the chasm, and then he was above the thing that he tied the rope to. Okay. It was really <laughs> simple. <laughs> we, did, we jumped on the platforms across, that's what we did. That's a stupid idea! <laughs> oh, goodness. Do you know anything else about this area? Can you check out that library room? Find anything cool in there? Uh, <laughs> I don't like books. <laughs> I don't think so. Books are in the arms by Forte. That's racist. <laughs> what did you what say? <laughs> what? What race is I'm a dwarf. Up top. Six intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't know what looks like books. 
But why should I trust you guys? Well, we didn't kill you while you were asleep. There's one. How do I know you didn't kill my teammates? Yeah, let's see. I wonder how you're pointing. First of all, we have no blood on us. What? You're still on bed, and I'm still hugging you. I'm enjoying it. (laughs) Just embrace it. Just embrace it. It's okay. He's a dwarf. I'm okay with it. Oh, but no, Lord. look at our weapons. We have no blood on them. A fire on mine. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like he's got a broken nose, and I probably got blood on my hand. <laughs> I fixed my nose, thank you. Okay. You could have tried bandage across the middle of your face. <laughs> and <laughs> it's fine now. <laughs> nose falls off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, nose squidward nose hangs. <laughs> Okay. So, I, so you I have it, you have get it. out of his embrace, and I put on my helmet and everything else. Okay. And I'm gonna go search the left door. We'll keep at least ten feet of space so, yeah. between me and them. The west door. I'm gonna go. Okay, you open up the west door. It opens up to a fifteen by fifteen room. Uh, it's smaller. Yeah. You notice that there isn't much, but it looks like there is a toilet. On the far south end. I go take I go take a dump on the toilet. And do you I do. recognize it as a toilet? You do. In character. Yes. They have toilets back in? Back about, then? About Renaissance age. Oh, okay. I mean they have basic stuff. I poop on the toilet. <laughs> you okay. wake up and you go and poop in the toilet. There's uh there's running water, you notice. Uh, there's also a s- semicircle in the floor in front of the toilet. Uh and you see two buttons on the side. I okay. press one of the buttons at random. Which one? Are you, are you the right one? Yeah, after one. He's sitting I, I'm, taking another, I'm, I'm taking another toilet. It's a I, duvet. I press it with one of, with one of my feet. It's a duvet, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> You're sitting there, and you press the button, and you just see the entire room go. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> you just see wall in front of you right now. Oh shoot. I continue to take a dump. <laughs> okay. Uh, is, there anywhere, is, there, is there a button? Is there a button? No. Nope. Now what do I see? Because he was pooping in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> you just see the wall pivot and go... <laughs> now what, is there anything on the back side of this wall? There is a kind of faucet on the end. And you, after a second or two, it starts spraying out water. Now are the buttons on the floor of... Look, where he pressed it, or is it on here? Like, is it, are the buttons still there? They're, they're kind of on, on the wall. Oh, they're on the wall. Yeah, but, I mean, close enough that you can reach it. Uh, so privacy. They're, they're, <laughs> they're still there. Uh, you notice that things are starting to build up in the toilet. Oh, God! Oh, um, God! <laughs> and where you are, there's just a hole in the ground. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> and there's water flowing through it and stuff, and you can see it goes down quite a ways. Press the button! Press the button! Guys! <laughs> we can't hear you. Um, uh, it would be wise not to press the button again. <laughs> <laughs> well, the dungeon ain't our friend. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's dead. Let's move on. Uh, I search on myself for any spare alcohol I have, like small bottles. You can wring out your shirt and get a little bit. I do that. Okay. Uh, you do that, and you are pretty much sitting in your own filth right now. <laughs> like, it says I came out of the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I pressed, Don't tell me it's a poo golem. <laughs> I, pushed, I pushed the other button. And it flips it back around. Oh, oh, thanks for that one, guys. I pushed that button again. I sort of the poop drink this, right? Nothing. What? It's on the poop drain away, right? Like, your stomach's about to poop, right? Yeah, now it's starting to flow out of the toilet. <laughs> down, down the hole. Okay, I wipe. <laughs> like, what? I step away. From How me. close is it? Oh, damn. <laughs> I grab sheets from the bed and give it to I tear them up and I use them to wipe. <laughs> Is there is there a, a is there a disposal bin for this? Because I'm assuming I can't just toss these. Toilet. There's, there's just the hole. Just stuff them down the toilet. I don't want to clog the toilet then. <laughs> okay. Because if it wasn't clogged by your massive mound, then <laughs> it should be okay with a piece of cloth. Uh, whatever. Okay, fine. I just took it down the toilet. 
Okay. Done. Was, was there anything else back there? What happened back there? You, we saw you flip around and like... Well, I drank the alcohol that was in my shirt and almost got touched by my own poop. That's about it. <laughs> I look on the floor. Is there a streak of... <laughs> of brown on the floor from when it turned. Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah. I clean up. I clean that up. What's left of the sheet? Okay. Let's go look. Let's go see what's the in the other, other door. door. Yeah. Closet. Fifteen by fifteen room. Lots of rooms. That's a lot of bandages. Yeah. Uh, some spare sheets. <laughs> I, I grab those sheets and I go make the bed. Oh, how nice. You're such a clean bed. I love the pillow. <laughs> those robes? This must be the wizard's room. Or it's just a room with a lot of robes in it. Nah, that's Because he likes to take baths and stuff. <laughs> you know, like bath robes. Nah, that definitely couldn't be it. Think we can trust this guy? I look at the robes for the nice You know I can still hear you, yeah. right? <laughs> you were just telling nice us floor. how you couldn't okay. trust us. So why don't I want we to be find black. you untrustworthy gold? gold. gold. Just make black, it when I say it to you, you'll back it. off. I, I wear that and so my <laughs> So we Yeah, wear that. You can get black, but there's no <laughs> Fine. Yeah, I look at the shoes. Are there any nice shoes? Ooh, are there any suits? There are no suits. Are there any spare shirts? Because my shirt is probably we throw, I, I go and start shirts. pulling I everything shirts. out of the closet and just throwing it back into the other. I room. change. I change okay. shirts. I look at the shoes and boots. Do, does he have nice shoes and boots? He's looking at them as I throw them out of the closet. He's got a couple slippers. I check for the slippers, but does it fit? Uh, a little too small. Man, big old dwarf feet. Put them back. I look around. Is there anything else other than clothes? Yeah, now that I've thrown all the clothes out. Are there any gloves? gloves? No gloves. Oh. This man is not very classy. <laughs> I, I think this is a. Is there rest any alcohol? Room. <laughs> Get it? The rest room. Got it. <laughs> okay, so that's that. That's it. That's all those in there. Pretty much. I'm gonna cut up the mattress. See if there's anything hidden inside the mattress. You look at the mattress. I go and I go and I start to put his robes and his clothes back. Yeah, you know, man, closet. He's so clean when he's sweating. <laughs> <laughs> I would go and grab the bed. I would just take it with me. I can tell you to be a smart guy. No, put his bed back. Come on, guys. You're you messed up his world. Just carrying the mattress. Yeah, I'm just carrying the mattress. Like a turtle shell. Okay. The leg right here. You know what? I don't know what it is. It's not how big are the robes? The robes are pretty big. How heavy is it? Right? Okay, I take the robes and I kind of, I kind of like tie the sleeves closed and I stuff more robes inside of it to make a makeshift mattress and I put it back and then I make the bed around. You do what? I make a makeshift mattress out of robes. Out of, out of like fifty robes. <laughs> and I and I stick it where the mattress was. Hopefully he'll and never I, notice. And I and I make the bed. <laughs> there are Seems not the nearly gym. enough robes <laughs> to make that work. I take the mattress back. Why are you, you don't even need this mattress. How much does it weigh? Just take a rope and the whole bed. <laughs> how big is this yeah, mattress? Weighs as much as a mattress. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how much a entire bed would weigh. How big is this mattress though? What's the bed made from? Is there a frame? Is it made of mahogany? Does it have a frame? That is my It does not have a frame. Does it have an adamantium Ooh, frame? <laughs> there are springs in it. Are they made out of adamantium? Springs. I'm just yeah. gonna carry this with me. Shane. Mithril. Seems smart. Mithril. If I need to sleep, go I need to sleep, I'll be sleeping in style. Oh, <laughs> it's probably not worth much. Okay, fine. We just go to the next room now. We, we, had, we go back and... After tidying it up as much as I can since the mattress idea didn't work, I just tidy it as well and I leave a sorry note. Dead. Okay. About the mattress, oh, and I leave an I O U and sign my name. We head west. West. Okay, you go down about sixty feet as you're going down a hallway. You notice that there's uh, something sticking out from the uh, west or from the south side at the far end of the hallway. So the hallway ends. Yeah, at sixty feet. Okay, and then well, what we in, I inspect the thing sticking out of the wall. Uh, it looks like branches. Like, it's branches? Yeah. There's no fruit or leaves on the branches? Uh, there are a couple leaves. Sam! 
Define what intelligence you can from this plant. He walks over to the plant and he tries to uh, he tries to really get a feel for it. He's just concentrating really hard on this tree. Um, so is it like can you feel it like growing out of the wall, or is it on the other side of the wall and it grew through the wall? It looks like there. What can you feel, Sam? Sam says there was once a door here. It is now a tree. There is a room beyond it. See if you can get the tree to open it up. <laughs> open the tree, Sam. Alright. Okay. Like trying to concentrate super hard. And you can feel plants on the other side. And they kind of join up towards this tree. And start wedging into the tree. Oh, they're murdering their tree brother. <laughs> <laughs> and the tree starts to split open. You can't get it super far, but it looks like you might be able to squeeze in through the middle of the tree. I do this. I'm just going to get my natural spoon then. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're going to have to leave that behind, bro. Turn it on an angle. Turn it Why did I do that? If you turn it on an angle, it'll fit better. <laughs> I do that. <laughs> it does not fit. Not even a little? No. <laughs> I'll, I'll cut it in half with my dagger. Then you won't. Then you only have half a mattress. It won't be worth it. It's like a twin, bro. <laughs> what if the bed size was a twin? Is the tree dead or has it adapted? Instead of being split in half, it looks like it's adapted. <laughs> has it grown bark along the inside? Okay. Well, anyways, we walk out. We squeeze. We go. Okay. We do. So the salmon first, because he's cool with plants like that. Yeah. Uh, what do you see there, Sam? What do your half elven eyes see? He walks in and uh, he's full elven. It's a 25 by 25 room, and there's plants everywhere, and they kind of receive him well. Uh, there's a lot of, like, uh, white-barked plants, trees starting to grow up. There's, they still look pretty young. There's a glistening bright blue pool in the middle. I go take a bath. Don't get your poop all in that pool. Already wiped, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, press that button, which was you, because you pressed that button, not not me. You wouldn't turn. Yeah, go, I go start. I go attempt to take a bath. Why don't you look in the pool first? It might be acid. <laughs> I look in the pool. It's acid. See, you're just looking at it. Yeah. 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 Looks like water. Okay, fine. I take a bath. I get, I get, I undress, and I get in the pool and take a bath. Stop splashing! <laughs> With your first touch, a putrid, vile, brown substance ripples through the pool, contaminating it entirely. I stop. And the plants kind of turn away from you. <laughs> stop that! Get out! I said I stopped touching it. <laughs> Idiots. Does it go back to normal or has he ruined it? Um, it looks less murky now. Uh, Sam goes out to inspect it and he gains this aura from the plants and he returns the pool back to its previous state. Sam, you touch it. Sam touches it and it feels really nice. To say, yeah. <laughs> Starting without that crown can't touch it is what I'm getting, is what I'm assuming. Or it turns oh, past the ground, or is it because I just took a dump? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't wash my hands, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I go back and I wash my hands. Go back there. In the pool? No, 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 no. I, go back, I go back to that room, I press the button. For the shower kind of thing? Yeah, no, I'm going to take a shower, clean up. Okay. <laughs> when I come back. And then he touches the water again. Then I attempt to touch the water. Is it still turning brown? Uh, it doesn't look as crystal clear as it did with Sam, but it looks fine. Oh, okay. Much better. Yeah. Drink it. Yeah. He said it feels good. Drink it. I shove my head in there. You've never tasted water this good. I don't even like water. <laughs> but that stuff is good. You should try it. I drink some of it. Is there anything else in, that, uh, in here other than the plants and the water? You, no, that's it. 
you feel replenished. And you get a couple hit points back. Oh! Um, how many is a couple? Two. I ch- I empty my water skins onto uh onto the plants. <laughs> okay. And then I try to fill them in this pond. I do the same with I have one water skin. I do the same. Okay. We all do it. <laughs> I'm gonna have we emptied the pond? <laughs> no. Okay, that's good. Actually, I should drink my water skin. I drink it and then I fill it up. I'm not gonna waste some water. That was dumb. Plants will use it. Uh, John's gonna walk over and he's gonna drink up some. He's like, I feel much better now. Oh, is he a senior? Oh, his soul. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and his bleeding nose. They're probably still bleeding. <laughs> yeah. What, oh. What's happening to you guys? Don't worry about it. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a long story. Much longer than yours was. <laughs> <laughs> It'll probably take us. Two hours to tell it. This is a, we don't have that much time. No. Yeah. Okay. Um, is there another? Door, is there like a big metal door? <laughs> no. Uh, I expect your eyes are nothing. Is there else. a bottom to this pond? Just mm-hmm. lots and lots of plants. What? Is there a bottom to this pond? This pool? Yeah. It looks about five feet down. Sam, ask the plants if there's anything else in this room. Well, this thing's taller than I am. Uh, he concentrates really hard, and the plants don't really have an answer for him. Okay. Well, that was nice. That's, uh... I think I was just used to heal us. I think that's just a nice... This human area. We leave. Okay. <laughs> we're going to no doors? Sacred, sacred no, we're going to have to squeeze back past the tree. And the mattress. And the mattress. <laughs> we got to push the mattress out of the way. Alright, now we're to go. And we're gonna head back east and then go, to, <laughs> then go north up the long hall. Okay. Um, it's always pretty long. It goes about 90 feet. Uh, as you're going, there are paintings, full poster size, both to your left and your right, uh, split about five feet apart. Watch the eyes. Pretty much all the way down the hallway. Watch the eyes. There are no eyes. Okay. <laughs> there, you see a pedestal at the end of the hallway. I go inspect the pedestal. As you walk down, uh, you notice that there is a small chest on the pedestal. I inspect for traps, which I need my computer to get in because like I wrote that stuff down. <laughs> he would have, but he was rolling a new character. <laughs> <laughs> I was preparing myself for the worst. <laughs> no stuff about monks. What do I roll? It's a D hundred. D hundred. What are you doing? He's looking for traps. Yeah. What's the chest? What is it? Ninety. You lose seven. Fail. Fail. Oh. <laughs> nope, you don't see any traps. Okay. You pop open the chest. It's locked. You I pick the lock. It's another D hundred. What is it? Eight. Eight total? Yeah, eight total. That's zero zero. Uh that's just it, about that probably does it. <laughs> okay. Unless it's unless it's magically locked. Nope. Uh, you pop it up. Yep. And you see just a few things. A rocket launcher. <laughs> okay. You see a rocket launcher in a chest this big. Within it, you see one gold coin. And there's also an origami falcon. Ooh. Inside. I pick them up. I pick his pocket. I'll kick him in the face! As soon as, try, as soon as he gets close to me, I'll probably have to kick him in the head. <laughs> what? You're serious about it? No, I'm not. They're, They're in your hand. <laughs> They're not even in your pocket. Trying to stop me in Skyrim. <laughs> I took that torch, and that guard was just like. <laughs> <laughs> 
First of all, since you can't get that. Montana steals the gold piece. <laughs> I, I try to steal the gold piece from Montana. He, al- he also rolled an eight. Montana's <laughs> so much better when he's Brant. <laughs> <laughs> I try to steal it from Montana. Three. Oh, three. <laughs> Just steal from Montana. When I see this, upon seeing this, I roundhouse kick him in the face and take my coin back. Seventeen. Sixteen. I'm still pretty sober now, I would assume, after drinking the water, since it's replenished me. I, I rolled a dodge. <laughs> <laughs> I used my action. How much more I have to kick damage wise deal? Because open you're gonna, cr- you're gonna crush your origami falcon if you attack me. This is my hand. Yeah. I want to examine the paintings. Okay. While they're quarreling over. They're going coin a back. Single gold piece. <laughs> it uh, may be magic. If you hit me again, I'm gonna light you on fire. <laughs> so you're looking at the coin back. I just want to see something. And um, and they all look like they're of the monolith that you are in. Hmm. Um, so the thing you had on, pretty, on top. Oh, pretty much. Uh, except you see the silhouette of a person falling. Yeah. Falling. Is it from the sparks? And it looks like they might, um, they might have some kind of wings of some sort. It looks like. Mm-hmm. Um, are you just? How are you inspecting the? Is there a sun with his painting? eyes? With my. Head. I don't think it's. I don't think. I think there's a reason for the gold. Like you're just looking at the closest yeah, one. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm not just gonna loot it. it in my pocket. Yeah, that's what that's what I got the origami falcon and I found it and I picked the lock and I did work to get that. Yeah, well, I, I want have, it back. I could have done it better. Is there a sun in that painting? Uh, there's a moon. Okay, so. I don't I describe I don't exactly like, what it is. I don't like just it's like, like, pretty much a picture of the monolith, but with you what? try to pick a back silhouette of a man not at all. And it but if like what I do wings. doesn't work, I'm going to ask for my gold coin back. Well, if what you do doesn't. If you attack me, I'm gonna attack you back. Is Max I said like the guy? Is, is Max Maxwell Howell from Howell Moving Castle? And he has an origami falcon. Did you see that movie? And a camel gold coin. He's, he's that a bird. That was pickpocketed from me, hmm. and it was pickpocketed from somebody else. And I'm gonna ask for my gold coin back. Okay. Sixteen. 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 I try to read some of the folds on the writing of the folds. Without well, preparing explosive the runes for today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All you can make out is and your. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? You're, you're yeah. like, Just don't do it. And if you keep looking around, maybe you see a few of. <laughs> a few of what? <laughs> <laughs> and your a few of. I fight this gold coin. Thanks for taking one. I was going to do real nice. Sure. Okay, so, I kind of, I kind of <laughs> screw it. I unfold it. Okay, you unfold it. Yes, and on what looks like would have been the inside of the falcon, you see a message. Oh, the message say. The message says, "Congratulations, you and your intrepid companions have successfully traversed a few of my obstacles and your fate." Set down a few lines below. Uh, you find something very peculiar. Uh, you don't really know what it means, but it says, "Living eternally finds tautology." I don't know what the word that. I don't even know what that word means. <laughs> None of us do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're bound. <laughs> let's go to the library. Look for a dictionary. Oh yeah, let's go back to that book. <laughs> back to the library. Good call. Good call. We're gonna go. We're gonna go back to the library. Take the paper okay. with us. No, I'm going to sit it back down. You can't Google search it. That's cheating. <gasps> We're going to the dictionary anyways. <laughs> Let Brant's dictionary tell us what it says. Fine. Get off the internet. Fine. <laughs> 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 okay, we go to the library and we look for a dictionary. It takes quite a while to find a dictionary. I'm going to continue trying to inspect this gold piece, comparing it to another one of my gold pieces. Okay. Do I see any discrepancies? Does it feel the same weight? It feels the same way. It looks a little bit different. Um, does it have a year on it? It does not. It's 1985. 
How does it look different? How, yeah, how's, what's the di- what difference is it? Um, it looks like it's maybe not valid currency. <laughs> <laughs> looks like it's, it looks like it's a token of some sort. Okay. This isn't real gold. <laughs> is it made of, can I tell if it's real gold? Yeah, it feels it's weighted the same. Okay. So. It's just not valid. <laughs> I can talk about going back. You look at the for a dictionary. I get a four. They're looking for a dictionary. They're looking they for said they're looking for a dictionary. I said, okay, let's go get a dictionary. For the record, I want my coin back. You didn't beat my three. So? I've got you, a pickpocket was, rating of three. They was <laughs> pickpocket your coin for Montana. I get my coin back. That's what's happening right now. Sure, you get it back. That's fine. <laughs> it's the friendship just over again. <laughs> I was at the end when you used it, but I wasn't there when you guys got the. No. I stuck the coin in my mouth. I pickpocketed. I pickpocketed. Doesn't taste very good. I, I don't care. It's in my mouth. Oh, Anybody tries to take something out of my I mouth. Pocket, I pickpocketed the note from him. Okay. Okay. Now I'll go for a look for a dictionary that I have, now that I have the coin. Okay. The closest thing you can find to it is. Um, some form of repetition, the saying of the same thing twice in different words, that kind of thing. So, living eternally, what will help you care? Why don't you read the note? I was like, oh, why don't I read the note? The note's gone! <laughs> <laughs> Man, I wonder where the note is. We should really read it. <laughs> okay, it says, living yeah. eternally finds tautology. Man, living forever, tautology. living forever brings repetition. Okay, so things things get old after a while. I take the coin out of my mouth. Of course, I dry it off. They age. I dry it off on the corner of my shirt. Sure. I look at. I inspect the coin more closely than he does. (laughs) (laughs) You find the same stuff. Right? Is there like writing on it or picture? I go look behind. You find a plus one etched into it. (laughs) I skip back. Okay. Come on. Anybody pickpocket this coin for me? Alright, um. Go look at the paintings again. Okay. Are they all the same? At first, they look like they are, but as you observe more and more, you notice there are some subtle differences. Such as, like, the stars or the silhouettes. Uh, or the face sil- of the moon. The silhouette of the man is slowly changing phases. The further down the portraits you get. And he's falling. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at the last painting. Uh, you notice that the last two paintings look reversed. That's switch back. Uh, yeah. We, we switch them. Like, like, the, like he's, like, just they look like they should like the wrong one, order. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Okay. I take one painting off. We, we swap them. Yeah. Okay, you can't get them off. Okay, okay, we can't get them off. They feel like they're mounted to the wall pretty well. I pull hard. No, I'm kidding. Is there anything else around the chest or pedestal? Nope. Is there anything about something on the note? What? Is there anything on the note? Uh, I turn the note over. Is there anything on the back of the note? Another note, perhaps? Nope. So, I'm assuming it was a pretty short note. Yeah. I carved the note into my skin. Oh, Jesus. Um, what are some things that have been repeated throughout this dungeon? That one room. What room? None of your business. Hmm. <laughs> um, the paintings closer, uh, are they all well mounted? Against the wall, the wall like that. Nope. Okay. I, Only those two. Only those two. Um. Let's take. I take one of the paintings down. Is there anything behind the painting or on the wall? Uh, just some of the other paintings. When you take it down. And just any random painting. Uh, it's just a wall. And there's nothing on the on like the back. And this is on both sides. Or just one side. Or the wall. Like one wall or both both walls. Uh, the paintings are on both sides. 
and, and at the end, is it the last two on one side or the last two like this? The last two on one side. Okay. And on the other side, that looks correct. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Is is are the paintings on the opposite side completely identical to the one opposite it? Like uh, so except for the last two. Yeah, swap the yeah. last two. So let's we swap, swap the other the two yeah. on the other side. And nothing happens. <laughs> let's reverse them, maybe. Let's, let's reverse all the paintings down the hallway. No, because I want to. I want to. I knock on the paintings. Are they hollow? The uh, sounds like very like end. It seems like it. Yes. Hmm. Let's cut the paintings. Just hollow. Just we can cut through them. <laughs> Which one? Uh, the one on the left. The last painting. He's what he said, the last painting. That's yeah. the one on the left when you look the, at The very the last, last one. one. Yeah. You cut through it, and you see that there's a little bit of a space in there, and it's full of the last two paintings. Just a bu bunch of copies of those last two paintings. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I cut through the other one with my fire sword. <laughs> what? <laughs> it burns up and Sweet. there's a passageway okay. that opens up into a Man, fairly I, large I room. wonder where my dagger went. <laughs> I, it wasn't me. I'm not proficient with daggers. As a thief. I look over at Montana's character. Do I see my dagger? <laughs> nope. He has it fairly well hidden. He does. He shoved it up his anus. <laughs> Just like Pulp Fiction. Oh gosh. Watch Pulp oh, Fiction. Oh gosh. He held, he wore that watch up his ass for five years. <laughs> and I did for another two. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Lord. Alright, so like let's go down the passageway. It goes up five feet, and it immediately drops off into a 65 by 65 room. Mm. No, wait, it drops 65 feet into a 65 by 65 room? Or it just. No, it drops off a few feet into a 65 oh. by 65. I thought you said it drops 65 feet into a 65 by 65 room. I was like, uh, and I'm like, Patrick first. <laughs> um, in this room, it seems to be kind of funnel shaped, all pointed towards the center at which there's a hole. Um, and it looks like it's all covered in water. It's all covered in water? Yeah. Who? Streaming falling water. Who wants to go first? Who wants to go down the funnel? And there's, um,. There's an open hallway on the far end, and it looks taller than the hallway that you're in right now. This is one of my favorite rides at the water park. <laughs> okay, so is it is the water? I'm assuming the water is like going down into this funnel. Correct. I oh, it's it's it slope. <laughs> <laughs> he, it is very sloped. I succeeded, and I didn't even have to roll. <laughs> okay. Okay, I wouldn't have made it in. <laughs> Let's clog it up. Just throw stuff. I'm good at clogging. <laughs> Too bad he pooped already. <laughs> okay, how, how big, big is the this? hole look? Yeah, uh, a little bit bigger than. Throw five, the mattress. Five feet or so. Throw the mattress. I ain't getting rid of this mattress, girl. The mattress might clog. Now, is is it completely covered with water, or is it like the thing, and then there's water flowing on it, yeah. like a toilet? You know what I'm saying? Like, is it like when you flush the toilet, or before you flush the toilet? After you flush the toilet. So okay. the water just... spiraling down. Water yeah. Is it spiraling down or going straight down? Like from all the sides, or is it spiraling down? It's spiraling down, but it's spiraling down and touching all surfaces at once. Exactly. Yeah, so when, after you flush the toilet. Does the hole look small enough that the mattress would clog it? Why is this guy eyeballing my mattress? <laughs> it seems like it would be a really inefficient way to clog it. I know we do. We go back and we get, get the, the paintings. Let's we go back and we get the paintings. We get the paintings. <laughs> <laughs> we just start chucking paintings. Down. No, no, no. What we do is we we force him to... Dude, just toss your mattress in. There's probably another mattress on the other side. Nope. His mattress probably... is a cut in half, by the way. Yeah. We throw it down there with paintings. How many paintings did we find? Infinite paintings? No, you find like <laughs> ten. You said there was another one with like his multiple... Thing, so I'm going to take some of those. Dude, you're going to think about it like this? 
If you toss that pinning in there, or you toss that mattress in there, there could be a way nicer mattress on the other side. And besides, you've already cut that one in half. It's not, it's not even as nice as it was when you started out. You know this guy has a point. I can chunk it. And then we just start throwing paintings, and we just we just throw all this stuff in at the same time. <laughs> as an attempt to clog it. Does it work? Okay, so the paintings you throw in, they're not framed or anything. I, oh, so it's just parchment? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we'll see. So... Wait, well, it, then I don't it, throw any paintings in. No, we throw it in with a mattress. They might be worth something. That could be our loot. And, and they're drenched. But when they're not free. When they're in the water and they just go down the hole. Uh-huh. Um, we just threw away our treasure. Let's <laughs> see the mattress. How big Everybody, is this hole? I love how you think they're more valuable it's, when it's they're a little not framed. Bigger than... It's, it's like seven feet in the Paintings diameter. themselves aren't like worth anything without the frame. Eight. My bed big enough. Well, they are, but you, you bought a painting for six hundred dollars that didn't come with the frame. I feel like no, what I'm saying is, you, think you, you bought a one hundred dollar painting. One of the pieces out of the bed painting. might be able to get. We're not to over a whole lot of frame, kind of trapped over, but it's not uh, like it's completely. Yeah, yeah. So there's still there areas to the just, to know, each side of the hole. Okay. What did you say about the like? Five foot more, just carry in this massive bed. So part of his mattress covers up the hole, but there's still openings to the sides of the mattress. But it helps clog the flow, and it starts building up, right? No, no. It would start flying over the sides. Yeah. Shut the mattress on fire. Physically, <laughs> learn <laughs> uh, Do we drop directly into the center or around one of the edges? What? He said. You said it drops into a room. Like, do we drop you, from the ceiling into this room? You're, you're on the edge. Oh. Yeah. And so, and then it's just spiraling in a circle. The room is right. cylindrical. The cir- uh, circular. The room is square, and you notice that on the far corners, it's kind of flat. How far square? 65 by 65. And I'm right. assuming there's no walking space around it. Does it look like there's any way other than to throw stuff in it to clog it? Do we see any buttons on the walls? You do not. At what angle the... is it sloped going inwards? This is the only other way to go. We might as well just jump. Um, let's see. It's your that. Kind of bowl shape. Yeah. Mm. I'll push Patrick in. I... No, 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 I got this. Okay, I so crawl we... in and aim towards my bed. 